Hi, dorks. It's dwarf fortress time. Hooray. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead. Let's, I'm going to get this loading, and then I will pop open the game stuff here. Oh, we're still... Sorry, I got to do this and then that, and then we're good. And then... Did OBS update? OBS looks different. I don't know why. That's fine. <laughs> uh, then gameplay, we switch from this to this. There we go. All right. Our new swimming pool. <laughs> okay. What the heck are we doing? We were we were screwing up. That's what we were doing. Uh, so that's all fine. Right. Okay. So. Today on what the heck is going on here? Uh, no, that was wrong. This one. Um, this is the kind of the corner of the <laughs> the situation that I warrants the most direct attention, I think. Um, but the main thing we're doing, I'm I'm trying to remove the fish people from the equation of our fortress. That is. That's the main goal for, like, uh, a while now. The fish people have really turned into our um, <laughs> primary antagonists for this fortress because they keep coming into this cave in large numbers and causing disruptions. Um, so we've been, we've been walling off our caves. We have some walls up here, uh, but there are some walls that we've been struggling with for reasons. Um, and this one here, this one's... Still not fully sure what I'm going to do with this. I I tried draining this little pond. There was, like, just a little pond under the tree here. Because the, the trees don't get burned down with our, our magma falling from above kind of a situation. So you're just left with these little ponds, like these. Uh, that's not a good example. These. These are just under trees, so we'll have little ponds. And we can't tell someone to go underwater to chop down a tree. Clearly, that's madness. So we have to drain the water in order to get in there. But because this is touching the wall, the edge of our playable area here, so water is flowing in faster than I can let it out. Which means these trees will never chop. I wonder, can we... I mean, even if I dig a stairwell here, the stairwell still flood. And they're not going to go down to stand into the water to go try to chop down here. Dwarves will basically never voluntarily go into water that's depth of four or higher is my understanding like three is fine but four they don't want to go into and between four four and six they'll they're okay in um but they don't want to be there basically and then at seven they actually have to start actually like swimming or dying so they definitely won't do that but like even these fives and sixes they, they i can't tell them to go in there and do anything um <laughs> this is just gonna keep doing that. Luckily, we have a... This flows out, so this used to be a lake. Now it's becoming a lake again, because I'm brilliant. And there's not even a way to... Like, I didn't leave any control mechanisms in here to potentially stop it after the fact. I could dump more magma. That would definitely stop everything, but... My goodness... Um, okay, so they're building these walls here, at least. You can see the... <laughs> taking things out of this square one item at a time and putting them one square to the side. Oh, the, 
cat cam didn't work. There we go. Hi. It's kind of satisfying. You're doing a lot of work there. But we can't we can't build walls on these. This is tree. This is the top of that's trunk. And these are the mushroom trees. Was so the top of the mushroom cap basically? Yeah. See, you finished. Now there's just a bunch of stuff there instead. It's perfect. Mel. Um. I'm tempted to just dump more magma. <laughs> Stop the water progressing. Um, which I can do pretty easily here. I mean, we can just turn our... Just open that floodgate again and we'll get some more magma in there. But... Oh, such a pitiful little creature. The other thought I've had is just walling in the tree itself and filling that with magma and just have a permanent pool of magma occupying the adjacent spots on the map like the so that there's no way they can get in off the map without going directly into magma. I think that will prevent them from coming in. Or at the very least, if they come in, they'll just instantly fry. In which case, there's no problem. That's kind of my nuclear option. Um, which may happen here <laughs> quicker than... than you might think. Yeah, look at all this. I'm... We're gonna redump here. Um, let's... let's stop. Let's stop with the digging. And I'm also going to lock these things, forbid these things, rather, so that people aren't trying to come in here while we're dumping. Um, I'm going to let these two last walls finish. I think that's going to be what happens here. Um, everything else is fine. That was funny. Is there an actual combat? No. Oh. Qua? Uh oh. That's a bit of a portent. A skeleton. No, no, da, da, da. A monster many times the size of an ordinary key. Tongue is gone, toe is gone. This is... This is an undead giant bird? Where's the Baron? Is the... Oh, is that... Baron Dantan, okay. So you're getting away at least. It's bleeding. The skeleton is bleeding. So we haven't had to deal with any undead in this fortress yet. Which given what I... Like, that actually wasn't the intent. My intent was to, like, get some undead stuff going in this fortress. We are in an evil biome. I have been shocked so far at the lack of evilness happening. So, of course, now it's going to start happening. <laughs> hmm. The fact that it's just one thing is really interesting. It's just a single undead bird. And undead, undead can happen natu naturally. Just um, like we're in, we're in an evil biome. 
and frequently you will have corpses left on... Is this too loud? I have no idea where... I never know. Corpses can just spontaneously re reanimate on e in evil biomes. Um, it's just a thing that can happen. It's just chilling up here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Look at that red eye. Or white, maybe? I don't know. It's a good sprite, either way. Undead things can just naturally reanimate in, in evil biomes, but you also have necromancers who can intentionally create... That's just going to get in, isn't it? Necromancers can intentionally create undead things and also like other demony things. Um, we're going to have to deal with this. Oh look, it's a child. Um, let's just kill the bird, please. And you're just gonna destroy a child, aren't you? But one question in my mind right now is, is what is the source of this undead? Is this a named creature. Did it just kill someone? It just killed a child. Um, and just gained a name. Or no. Okay, that actually answers a question. It is... This was not the name of the creature. And this is the skeleton of the creature. This is the name of whatever created it. This is a skeleton that belongs to Ars, Ars Matul. And because it just murdered a child, it gained the name Teners... Tenerestrith? Which is funny because it killed a child named Tun. So it just named itself Tun Killer, probably? I don't know. Um, one kill. So that's a, that's a thing. Um, but yeah, so this could either be a necromancer who created this skeleton and, or they, they, like, create a class of monster, basically, called Erismatool Skeletons, and there could be, like, a bunch of them. This could also be from a deity. Um, the uh, Ars Matul could be a god, for all I know. Um, we could actually check that. Uh, we could go down to our temple area. Let's see. Let's let's make a new. Let's see if we can devote a temple to this <laughs> this thing. Um, we would do the meeting area, and we'll just do this. This probably won't be a permanent thing, but I'm curious. Accept, and then we can make this a temple. And then here's a list of everything that's worshipped within our fortress by our citizens. Um, and of course, it's not in <clears throat> any real order. The Faith of Plague. Cool. The Faith of plain Plague is devoted to the god Rain Ghoul Plague. Those are really good names. Courage and Murder. Wow. Um, so the yellow ones are churches. The, the, the blue color is deities. Uh, the Gleeful Barricade. Interesting. The Meditations on Knowledge. Yeah, I'm not seeing, not seeing anything here. Um, I'll just get rid of that. Um, but there, so the upshot of all that is that there is an entity somewhere named Arzmatul. 
I don't know anything else about it other than it has made the skeleton most likely. Um, and it's getting into our fortress here. So we, we just issued a kill order and we'll cross our fingers. Oh boy. That's what we need. We just finish up with the fish people and then just get annihilated by zombies. That would be very perfect for this fortress. Um, and someone just saw the dead child. There's our doctor. That's good. <laughs> doctors and zombies. Don't... Please don't mix. I would rather the doctors stay away from the zombies. But undead creatures in this game kind of suck. Um, yeah, this is a thing we haven't really dealt with is in this fortress yet. So it's interesting that this is how it's showing up. Um, sometimes if you, um, there are necromancer towers, uh, you'll see them on the world map sometimes. Who's It's our stone cutter, but you at least have a weapon. You have a spear. Where did Where did the thing go? What? It didn't leave a little corpse, right? It's the the child. <laughs> Mangled skeleton. I don't know. Yeah. Did you just kill it? The skeleton is fighting. Okay. Oh, interesting. The human mercenary necromancer gestures. So this was reanimated here. Like just now. Attacks the Baron. So... First question. Uh, human mercenary. You're not a citizen, right? No. If it showed up in the combat log, then it happened on our map. I I feel confident saying that. Okay, well, let's... Ars Matul's skeleton shudders and begins to move. Skeleton attacks the Baron. And that's when we came up here. There was a baron running away. Skeleton snatches at the dwarven child in the upper arm with a toe, tearing apart the muscle. Artery's been opened. Dwarven child punches the skeleton in the lower body, but the attack passes right through. That's terrifying. Uh, our skeleton attacks, but the child jumps, misses, attack glances away. Sorry if you hear banging and stuff in the background. I have no control over what maintenance does. Or when they do it. Um, this is a longer combat log than I thought. Uh, skeleton bites the child, tearing apart the muscle. Artery's been opened. Skeleton latches on firmly. Dwarven child punches. But the attack glances away. Yeah, see, this is why they're scary. It's hard to just do anything to them. Skeleton snatches at the child with the foot. Artery's been opened. Yeah, this child had a bad time. Um, okay, so this is still the child. Still the child. Still the child. Wow. Oh, and then here. 
Dwarven Child punches. There is no force. Dwarf Child punches. The attack glances away. Skeleton snatches. Tearing apart the muscle. Artery's been opened and a sensory nerve been severed. That must have been when the yeah, the child died. Skeleton or the doctor came by. And then our stone cutter with a spear, thank goodness, stabs with steel steel spear, chipping the bone. Lodged firmly. Twist the knee. Skeleton bites. Yeah, so this and you're not doing too great either, are you? Who says you're healthy? Okay, well, you're better off than I thought you were. Uh, Stonecutter pulls on the embedded spear, regains possession, stabs again, lodged firmly, rinse and repeat. Stonecutter... Stonecutter bites the skeleton in the head. The attack passes right through. You don't know where that's been. Get that out of your mouth. Stonecutter stabs the skeleton in the head. A tendon in the skull has been torn. Horse pulls the neck. And then skeleton misses. And gets stabbed in the head again. Okay. I'm a fan of this stonecutter. Stonecutter stabs the skeleton in the left lower leg. Ligament has been... oh, torn. So yeah, and this you can see this went on for a little while. This is like goblins don't get stabbed that many times in a row and survive. This was that was a whole thing. Uh, Stonecutter kicks the skeleton in the lower body, kicks in the upper body or stabs in the upper body. Misses, misses. Stonecutter stabs the skeleton in the head. A severed part sails off in an arc. That's the other thing, is like a goblin, you stab it enough times, it's bled a whole bunch, falls over dead eventually, right? Zombified things and skeletons and, and stuff don't. <laughs> like this took off, took a decapitating strike from a spear, which I'm not going to ask how you manage that. I was attacked by the dead. The horror consumes me. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> you, you got it. You don't need to keep running in fear. Uh, Zombird Stabber. That's what you are. Um, yeah, like, we're also lucky that there's not an active entity reanimating things right now. Like, jeez. If someone, a, a necromancer decided to raise one of these skeletons that were just out here. I haven't been dealing with these corpses because it hasn't been a problem, but if we're just going to have sneaky necromancers sneaking onto the map, raising giant bird skeletons, then we need to clean up all the corpses up here. Because that can very quickly become a problem. Um, the fact that there aren't any more right now is interesting. Sure do wish I knew where that person was. Baron of Violet Bridged. Means we should unforbid all these things. There's even like a, there's a standing order for trash outside. 
all these bolts and stuff. Okay, well that's gonna be a whole other thing to deal with then. Did this get done? This did not get done. Come on. One's working on it at least. I think so I'm not I'm not gonna I'm gonna just not channel. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's just... What are you... What are you here for? Store item and stockpile. Sure. Um... Instead of just making everything worse... On the plus side, we could smear the... Or... Smear. Smooth this. Because there's not a bunch of fish people hanging out underneath now. So that's cool. Um, we can also... I don't have any burrows on or anything, right? Uh, Air and time. No, not mine. Smooth. I don't know. Oh, they're not gonna be able to get there quite yet. Okay, let's let's not then. Um, there's like all there's water in the tree. Ooh. Okay, well let's <laughs> let's one thing at a time. Let's pull this lever. Pull the lever. This water's here. This water's here on purpose. This is our bathhouse. This is nice looking, at least, right? <laughs> as nice as I can make it. Oh, and there's also this. Um, I was going through the VOD and realized there was a forgotten beast that we did not turn into a statue. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. I have them all. We have an Excel sheet with all of our forgotten beasts in it because that's the kind of video game we're playing. <laughs> but I made one for Mzu. Mzu, I guess. Um, but I skipped one. So it's actually in the wrong spot now. So I'm going to remove that. And now I'm going to add the silver. Statue. Ooh, we'll make one. And this is related to lamb. Human. A hydra. Human death corpse. Interesting. Old Titan. Well, it's none of those. Hmm. I'm sure I just can't. Yeah. Uh, its name must have changed. Oh, there. Oh, because I did lamb space to try and find just lamb. I should have. What if I do lamb comma? That's well, not even a thing. Yeah, okay. Noted. Lamb. Gigantic feathered lizard. Yep, that's right. Okay. And then there was another one. Named August. Rulushuk, this one, yeah. Splash Speckled, the Fin of Mines. That's a name. Okay. 
and then we'll place all three of those. Miner has been missing for a week. Uh oh. Of course, someone's gonna have to discover the corpse. That's the thing. More baby llamas. Okay. So hopefully. Okay. So this will this will go slow because we're still jumping slowly, but it'll go <laughs> eventually. We are still pumping, right? Active. Yeah. Okay. It's just gonna take a minute. We've, been, we've used our magma quite a bit recently, I think is the the thing. Uh, but we'll we'll put some magma down here so it'll close that off again and we can <laughs> we can try again and this will bug. So dry back out eventually. But what the heck do we do? Probably should have thought about this off-stream or something. Um, well, okay, so there's this spot here. Which is going to be, I think, the trickiest of the spots. Uh, but there's also down here... Hey look, a forgotten beast. A gigantic three-eyed alligator twisted into humanoid form. Excellent. It is slavering. I've never seen that before. Its eyes glow scarlet. Its black scales are large and overlapping. Beware its poisonous vapors. Oh my god, really? Okay. And see, it's the freaking trees, isn't it? This one we can at least deal with. You fly the Abyssal. Real creative name there. You don't fly. I don't know what slavering actually does. If anything. Um, we're gonna just... We gotta kill it. The fact that it's up in a tree... Is concerning. Oh, hopefully it comes down. It's probably just gonna come straight for us. It's my anticipation. Or get stuck in a tree. It's also an option. Nope, it's down. Okay. Um, and I'm sure there's a bunch of people running around down here trying to do something stupid. Like the things I told them to do or something. Um, I want to make sure all of this stuff down here is forbidden. Um, okay. Well, the thing that I'm learning here is that, like, I don't think something can in like get into our map from off the map onto a wall that we've made but it does appear that they can get in on branches that are adjacent to the map edge even if they are like overhanging a wall so you need to keep you need to keep trees away from your walls, which is a lesson that I already knew. But like in reverse, I know that like upstairs, you don't like if you have a little castle type deal, you don't want to have trees too close to the outside. But like goblins can climb up the tree and then over the branches. And if they can just get on top of your 
your walls than they than they're inside your fortress, right? So like trees and walls already didn't get along. That's that's tricky to deal with. Now it's in the water. Now it's a crocodile. Is it gonna hang out in the water? Because it's a crocodile and be like the fish people? At least this isn't as deep water. The closer are we to magma? Not very. Hmm. I want more magma. I want this to flow more. I wonder if I could fix that. Cause I got, what, a fortification there? It'd be difficult to increase the flow there, but I also kind of want to. Anyway, here comes the beast. So we're gonna have to chop down those trees. We can also like extend the wall up so that it, you know, so that there's no space for trees to grow over. That'd be the smart thing to do in the long run. The, the, just having the wall on the first level seems to be good enough to prevent things from just walking in. But if things can climb over on the trees, then we need to we need to address that. Okay, it's approaching our farms. I can tell by the fish corpses. Where's our friends? They have a kill order. Are you... You're a woodcutter. You're a bard. Bard. Our squad should be like... Here. Swords dwarf. Yeah, okay. Come on, nerds. Show a little hustle. Well, here it is. You can see it's noxious powders. What was it? What did it have? Poisonous vapor. So, you know, that's not great. <laughs> um, just being next to it is not good. Here comes an actual axe dwarf. Okay. While our civilians are giving it a good go. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice. You exploded that crocodile into teeth. Ayanu's tooth. Um, what was the... F I should have written down the whole name of it. Oh, it's just Ayanu. Okay. Here, let's make a note. A Y. And you, that we've it's not even the first thing we've had named that. And again, pick three eyed alligator twisted into humanoid. And it has poisonous vapors. So there's that's funny. Our last three beasts have been poisonous bite, poisonous gas, and poisonous vapors. Those are three different things. Uh, okay, so while we're at it, let's just do Sterling Statue. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple. Uh... A Hag of Evil, Forgotten Beast, Quadruped Composed of Snow, One-Eyed Pterosaur, Gigantic Quadruped, Forgot Alligator. There we go. Okay. 
Thank you, citizens. Oh, who got the kill? Someone getting credit. Uh, I guess I want to look at the the beast. Beardorf. In the head. Very good. Very, very good. Is that... Is that you? They, they don't all get credit, right? Nope. It was you. Yeah. Skull. Oh, just a random cave fish skull. Okay. Well, that's one more one more thing taken care of. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell them to chop down some of these trees because apparently that's a thing. I mean, like all of these. Um. The other thing we can do, let's just go ahead and, and queue up making this taller. Or how how tall? See, ugh. Nope, that from there to here. See, it's so freaking tall. Uh, where's my... where's my granite blocks? And we're gonna have to build... Well... DF Hack claims to have... Something. Where's control panel? There is something to help us here, I think. Starving dead. Huh. Uh, suspend manager. Tool will watch your active jobs and suspend construction jobs that would prevent a door from reaching an adjacent constructed job. Yeah, okay. So I think, like typically without hacking, uh, you can you could either place place one wall block and then wait for them to finish it and then place one wall block and wait for them to finish it and that would take forever or you could build like a whole walkway build like scaffolding and I just do a floor all the way along and then you can designate the whole wall and then people have spots to stand as they build the wall um, but I guess we want Might wait for this. Well, we're gonna have to wait for the the stair to be made anyway. Um, but in theory, I want to try it with suspend manager on. We can just designate the whole wall, and then it should suspend every wall except for like the very end one. And then you know the dwarf can walk down and build the end one, and then the DF hack will go oh. That one's do that one's good, so now we can build this one, and then it will like unsuspend each one as it gets made. Here's my hope. I'll help that'll save us some manual fiddling. Uh oh, our alligator dentist has bestowed a name upon the spear that killed the forgotten beast. Very cool. Seems seems valid to me. How's our magma still? Oh boy. That's gonna take a minute. And this is all gonna fill in the meantime. So cool. So cool and smart of me.
Um, but what I was saying before we got interrupted, this wall is fine, aside from... Potential tree nonsense, I guess. Come on, this will close up. Ugh, they're all so tall. Um, let's go ahead and chop these. Um, one thing you can do, though. Oh, all of this. And then... Is that... No, that's not the thing I screwed up. This is... This is all fine. Okay, so we definitely want to wall in that, because that's new ground that I made. I think things can come in that way. But this is much simpler. We can just do this, and then that will get built. And that will be fine. This side was a bit trickier because I screwed it up, but then I I opened it up and it all refilled and then we reflooded it. So now we're we're here again. Hmm. I want I want so many things. Uh, let's... I'm gonna dig out some of this. Just for the sake of... Increasing magma flow around here, I guess? Because here at least we we can dump into these, these squares, because there's nothing directly above them. We're just having a hard time getting magma to flow in here. And also I accidentally covered some of them with, with wall. So that's what that was. Ba, ba, ba. Um, but yes, yeah, so we can we can drop more magma from, from here. And which one of these? Not this one. This one. This one broke. Yes, so here. Um, so yeah, maybe we'll... Something like that, too. But magma can flow and fill these, and then we can wall on top of them, and then that will be fine. And then once those... Once that wall is closed, then we can open up these ponds. Then we'll be fine, because then more water can't get in. That's the main thing. Oh, and here. This is where... Oh, are we currently dumping here? Is that my problem? I'm trying to dump in two places. Yes. That's... That's my problem. Um, well, how are we doing here? This is doing pretty good. Maybe this is... Oh, I would love for this to finish. Can't really do two places at once, though. Um, let's close this. Pull. So we'll pause, pause dumping in one spot, resume or redump in another spot. It's all good stuff. Um, and then okay, so we've. Done that, so now I'm gonna place a couple of statues. Statue here, and then this one is to Lamb. Uh, looks like they haven't either haven't been done or haven't shown up in our stockpiles yet. Yeah, I think they're still working on them, so that's fine. Um, and in theory, we're still working on glass. Make statues completed. Okay, so they're just being moved. Um, and our, our, <laughs> our silly throne room. 
still working on. I don't know if we have more glass yet. Here. Here. Exactly three. Perfect. Let's do that. That's at least getting close. And let's see. Yeah, it's all just getting... Okay. Okay, so we have this closed. This will keep draining. So this is no longer... pumping. I mean, it's pumping, but it's not doing anything. So now all of our magma should go here. Right. Hello. How's the fort going? It's going good. Um, current, currently struggling with, uh, we're, we're working on sealing off our first cave layer, as you do, um, with magma to prevent fish people, as you do. Uh, we just had a forgotten beast show up. Uh, but we dealt with it. We also had a, an undead bird. Which is concerning. We've been on an evil biome this whole time that we're in year 19. We've been on an evil biome this whole time and we just saw our first skeletal thing. Well, that's uh, maybe foreshadowing. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, this is this is the Fortress of Elder Ring. Uh, here's our little surface area. Uh, got some some activity going on up here. Um, and then a big a big ramp going down all the way down filled with <laughs> filled with all sorts of goodies um and then down to our down below our first cave so our entire fortress exists between the first and second cave basically the first cave is our our roof and the second cave is our floor this is our main entrance here here's all our, our barracks and stuff uh, this is our military quarter this is the main entrance this is the hospital up here this is our, we're training some ravens. Train stray raven. I'm, I'm working on domesticating ravens. Because why not? Um, and then this that ramp keeps going down to the crafting area. Um, but yeah, and then there's this whole, you can see the ramp coming down here. And I have all my, my bedrooms and then stockpile stuff, which is still a complete mess. It's actually getting better, if you can believe that. Um, and then all of our, our crafting shops are here, and then more stockpile. All our clothes, all our wood, all our buckets. Um, and then if you come down to here, here's our library and our guild halls. That's cool. How much, I need, do we have books? We have 36 books. So actually not doing too bad on books. Um, I do want to go out to raid some goblins uh, shortly, get some more stuff. Um, and this is kind of our main fancy, our main fancy floor. Found out how to get a ton of books. Is it by, uh, I mean, you, ra is it by raiding? Is it by by stealing them? Um, I know that. I know that way. I mean, go ahead. I mean, share. You can tell me. Tell me what you. Tell me what you know. Yeah. Yeah. So our, our fortress is here. These are all goblins. Mo monasteries. Hmm. Which ones? So I had to, I found out recently that, um, that showing all the little sites on the world map is a World gen thing, so actually I did use D of Hack to um to reveal all these all these little ones. A layer of untoward hell. Cool. Um but like there's these layers. I have these layers. I've rated a couple of these. Yeah, like no there's a shrine, no civilized population pop population pop, population. Um 
um, want to be highlighted. Little blue icons. I don't know if I see monasteries specifically. Hmm, the site government here is the Prim Book. Maybe they have something. Skulls helped. Yeah, this is, um, yeah, we're in year 119. So I don't know if things just haven't happened yet. The Scar of Clams. Goblin Pits of Vault Hell. Oh, there's even, we even have some rumors of things that, that exist here. That's funny. Um, but we have this whole huge goblin pit situation up here. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm gearing up some squads to try and send some people out to um, go raid them. Uh, lower right. Human tower. Oh, that's good. Lower right on this. More right, some of those blue things. These things? These are hamlets. We can't zoom on this. I wish we could zoom here. <laughs> um... The Shrine of Leafy Lobster. Also, if I'm like missing something super obvious, just know that I'm colorblind and sometimes things don't pop out at me like they do for other people. Um, things with books and no population. Yeah, totally. Spot pit. Um, yeah, labyrinths and such. One where all the dark greens and dark blues look the same. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, colorblindness, yeah. Um, I am, yeah, I'm red-green colorblind. So, like, I can tell, like, there's different colors going on, obviously, but, like, sometimes if you ask me, like, or say, like, this color thing over there, I'm not necessarily good at finding it. Uh, the ignorant your. Um, but anyway, yes, um, reading, reading sites for books is, is definitely the way to go. Um, I'm just dealing with some things before I send out too many more dwarves. We've had quite the cavefish saga here. Um, um, but yeah, so here's my, here's my water wheels, here's my noble quarters, here's my, here's my tombs. Um, these are, these are temples, these are small temples, these are big temples. This is our, uh, royal quarter. Um, we had a queen and then she had an unfortunate training accident with a tantrumer. So we do not, we no longer have the monarch of our civilization. Um, but, uh, this is, you know, like a tomb, bedroom, and, and, uh, dining hall situation. And then this is where we're keeping all of our artifacts, and I'm keeping them safe-ish by just having people path through here a whole bunch. This is like a main corridor. Um, this is like, you know, the main fortress, and this is, um, like down to the smelters. Um... And then this is our throne room. So I, I'm proud of our throne room. I want to finish this, but we have kind of a nice inverted pyramid kind of a shape here. And then you get down and then the floor, the floor of the throne room is glass. And then it overlooks into the second cave layer, uh, which is here. Um, just the fact that like the sprites are transparent is just so mind blowing to me. And that's kind of half the reason that we're doing this. So. Um, I'm gonna, we're gonna put glass in this whole floor here, and then I'm actually gonna, uh, carve out this wall up here, so, like, these two faces will be glass. So the idea is that you have, like, you're, you're in the throne room, and you're looking out and down into the cave beneath of, of what the, the monarch is ruling, ruling over. Um, and of course, this whole place is 
a disaster and, and dangerous and we have it closed off and no one's allowed down here. <laughs> we, we've only had a couple accidents, if you can tell. Um, and then here's our smelter. Uh, we have a, a nice naturally occurring magma feature here and then we're using the magma to, to do magma things. Um, so we have steel going in pretty good, uh, pretty good quantity. Yeah, we've had carnage here. I mean, we, tw almost 20 years of just carnage. Um, this is a lake that I accidentally made last stream by breaking our waterworks. That was fun. Um, it's our overly sized dining hall, like a, a balcony with all the tables and stuff and our food. And then this is just a big dance hall. This is a bathhouse. Um, you don't see water at the moment because if memory serves, because it's winter, yeah, because our river our river freezes in winter. So I have I have the the brook is being routed down and then uh, basically the, the brook comes down and, and gets split over these uh, little holes. And they drop down onto these little plush shapes, and they make little waterfalls. And this is just one big, one big bathhouse. Um, but it's all the river's not flowing right now, so uh, it'll start again in the spring. Uh, do they actually take baths? It's uh, they will clean themselves. So there's wells. Um, they will, and then this is a soap stockpile. In in theory, um, we lost a bunch of soap last stream. Um, and then like. Uh, this is all. This is a meeting area, so there's like instruments and stuff in here too. Um, but when they take like a clean self job, they'll look for a well and 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 grab some soap. Uh, so basically, this is where the wells are. There's um, there's wells directly above, way 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 above, for our hospital. This is the same. What is this? That water. A pool of oh, a forgotten beast extract. So they they've already been washing our, themselves of the nasty beast that came through um but like these are the only two well spots in our fortress right now this is directly above the other one way down here um so in theory so in, yeah in theory they're um they're coming in here to wash themselves and and getting waterfall thoughts in the in the process that's the main thing this is my my waterfall location um, and like my dining hall, my big dining hall, the only way into the dining hall is through the waterfalls. And yes, um, they are not, they're not as grateful as I would like them to be. Um, 32 tantrumers again, or grumpy people. We were, we were down to single digits, like not too long ago. We have a couple, um, habitual tantrumers, I will say. Um, did this... Did it break our farm? It broke our farm. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's just go ahead. Yeah, we are. We had a, a crocodile forgotten beast got into our farm here. Uh, let's build farm. Why not? You <laughs> round up the usual suspects. Yep. Yep, yep. Well, the the worst one, the one that keep like uh, let me find him. Uh, let me see. Do do do. His name is Erish. This one, Dwarven child. This child has eleven notable kills. One of them's a dog, uh, but ten, ten dwarves. Or nine dwarves and an elf, ten citizens, have fallen to this child. To this 14-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why... Yeah, um... I'm wondering if some of those kills are from killing people? Or some of those names are from killing people? Ten citizens and two creatures. Um, yeah, <laughs> most of them aren't that bad, but since it's a child, I can't like actually put him in, in jail. Like all, I can convict. This is a different one. 
Melville, Athol, Ludil. There's been a couple. Bomrek. Bomrek. And Zul. Again, shit. Building destruction. I don't remember that happening. I've been <laughs> I've been slacking on on the justice a bit. Um I had, could have been the farm. I assumed that it was uh, the Forgotten Beast that dealt with my farm. I guess we would see farm plot destroyed. Oh, you're right. That did just happen. I assumed it was a Forgotten Beast. It was a, a poisonous vapor beast. But yeah, let's... The cage trap toppled. Oh, this can be the right next to it. Uh, so it's gonna be... Yeah, right there. Uh, trap, cage, that's good. Um, so we have some corpses, as you can see. I'm working on closing off this cave layer. That's the main thing that's going on right now. And it's... it's been a whole thing. Look at this. Ugh. I hate this. Um, I'm pumping magma. I'm waiting... I've been pumping too much magma, so I'm like, I have to wait for my little reservoir to refill. Um, the main thing that's been going on, though, is we've been having gigantic waves of cavefish people in our caves. So I guess that's where they go. Um, you can see on the map here all these all these dark areas. These are areas that I that were... Um, these were ponds, and then I have flooded them with magma, so all of this dark gray is obsidian. Um, yeah, it's it's quite quite a bit. Um, and then we have all these little pools left because of the trees. Um, magma isn't burning down the trees completely, which is super cool. I wish it would just burn them down. Um, but like last stream, this tree in particular... <laughs> yeah, the Han Solo treatment. I was calling them dwarven fish sticks because that's <laughs> that's what they were to me. Um, this tree in particular is what's been giving me a hard time because there's there's water coming in off the side, but I can't get the magma underneath the tree. And then because the branches are are touching the edge of the map. Fish people were getting into the tree from off the map. This this tree had literally hundreds of fish people in it last stream, and we and we dumped magma on top of it to get rid of them. It smells like victory. Yes. Um, I've been. I should keep an eye on. I've been using this to just keep an a, an eye on how many we have. Like now we're up to 130 ant men in the second cave. Um, it's still only 10 cave fish men. Um, but I'm not so worried about ant people in the second cave because it's completely closed off. I'm not trying to use it for anything. Um, the first cave is what I'm like trying to actually do things in. Like my farms are down here. All my penned animals are down here. I'm trying to keep it safe-ish. Um, but it's been a whole thing. I mean, I've been working on this for a while. Um... Can't do the swimmy thing. Yeah. Yeah, the cavefish people have been brutal. They'll they'll they come in off the map uh cloaked or uh hidden. Uh because they're they're ambushers or whatever. So they will like literally Oh, um that's significant. That's our first that's our first of that. Where did that happen? Uh, raise the miners. Where are we digging? Oh, they're finally digging my exploratory tunnels. This is cave three. Yeah, okay, perfect. Thank you. I designated these tunnels like three streams ago. So this is like, look at our third cave. I literally just found this cave and closed it off. But look at this this cliff. 
in this third cave. This is like 10 levels of drop. Even more. All the way down to white water. This cave is bonkers. I know, and there's a forgotten beast in here. There's a there's a flying crab in here. <laughs> um so let's I'm gonna make sure to close this off again real quick. Um, stop. Stop. Okay, and like look at this. This is just another this is just open air. Holy cow. Holy cow. I got some nether caps in here. My goodness. Um, okay, so at the very least, we can just do a wall. Just do that. Hopefully that happens before something finds its way in. Uh, but then the other question is... Where did we find things? Warm. This is warm sapphire clusters. And warm... Warm obsidian. All of this. Damp obsidian. What's going on? Is there aquifer in here too? I'm going to be upset if there's aquifer in our candy. <laughs> Drain magma right into a cavern? Yeah. That's true. I mean, this is our... Like, this is the... Below our... It's way below... But this, those are our, those are forges. Hello, <laughs> best streamer, door fortress streamer ever. I would say 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 save your compliments. <laughs> we uh, we're we're exploring our caves. Um, we just opened up another little bot pit into our our third cave layer, and we found something fancy. You want to see this? This is something that we just uncovered in the last couple of minutes. Um. In here somewhere. What does it even look like? Blue diamond, black diamond, obsidian. Um, well, thank you. Yes, um, I'm glad to glad to have people around and, and check it out because it's been. I don't usually let forts run this long. Um, there is a forgotten beast down here, but that's not the thing that happened. What square is this in? We have apparently located adamantine. Somewhere? Where? I don't even know what it looks like in this version now. Um, humming the magma pipes, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, click the pick. See, I thought, but it's not like, it's not highlighting a square. Like here, I guess it just centers. Is it this? No. Obsidian floor. The game claims to have seen some. Are we we're not up at the corner or anything. Hmm. Well, we know it's nearby. We can do some more exploratory digging. All these uh, all these crystal walls here are good too. A lot of potential fish people habitat. We will not be letting the fish people get into this cave. These caves will be kept separate. Thank you very much. 
Um, there is a there is a forgotten beast flying around in here. I wonder if we can even see it. I just I got the alert that there was one down there, and then it flew off the screen because we don't have the whole thing uncovered. Um, yeah, it's conveniently off screen currently. Hopefully, it doesn't decide to make an appearance. Um. I'm curious about this sapphire, obsidian wall. Like, look at this structure. Emerald. Well, that's microcline. Microcline is like kind of the same color as adamantine. So it's like kind of throwing me off. Microcline granite. It's in here somewhere. I can smell it. Interesting with the cavern opening. Yeah, usually it's like um, you get it while while going around the the magma pipes. Like I was expecting to have to. I think we've seen some of the magma sea down here. Oh, that's fine. It's even further. Like usually you have to like come down to like the roof of the magma sea right you can get the, the vertical columns that's not what I'm seeing here so that's interesting we will have to like all of this is obsidian this this feels like magma flowed during world gen or something like and there's and it's wet too This whole, this whole situation is weird. I haven't seen anything quite like that before. Uh, but we'll keep an eye on it. We'll keep digging our tunnels. Um, look how high up it goes, my goodness. Um, so we're, we're walling in there. Um, and that's fine. They can all keep, they can all keep digging. That's fine. No. Um, I'll find more stuff. Yeah, dig from the top. Yep, and and very carefully we will we will be poking at that. Uh, but that's that's gonna be a whole thing. Um, let's. I'm just keeping an eye on our magma here. Um, yeah, I mean, the fact that it's... I like that it's on the wall of the cave, so we don't have to, like, get into the cave. I think we can try to come at it from the other side. I think that's what we're going to try to do. We come at it from above. And just kind of stairwell into it. Um, and I'm usually pretty conservative with the adamantine. Now, I've been avoiding talking about adamantine since it's... I've been trying to kind of only talk about things that have actually happened in this fortress for... because there's kind of spoilery stuff. Um, there's a couple of things we haven't seen yet. There's a... there's a certain citizen type that hasn't shown its face yet. I'm waiting for it. Um, but adamantine, we haven't seen yet. That, like, that just happened. Um... So that's cool, um, but we have to be careful when we mine it because you can. That's that's the digging too deep. Um, you're you're fine, um, but the you have to be careful when mining out adamantine because it can it can be linked to deeper things. You you can have like a basically a hollow tube of adamantine, like a, a like an elevator shaft. Imagine a, a tube, a hollow tube of of adamantine going straight down and it's very irregular it has a bunch of protrusions and whiskers and stuff um but it can have a hollow center and the hollow center goes down and that's that's where the bad stuff is that's the that's the digging too greedily too deep aspect of this game is if you if you if you mine too much of your adamantine someone says hi many someone say hi um, so we'll be careful with that. But we have located some, and that's very good. Um, yeah. But yeah, locating is the first step. So. 
go us. Um, <laughs> did it get faster? Yeah, I mean, if I were if I were devil mill devil may carrying this fortress, I would. Uh, but since we've spent this much time trying to make this cave safe, I wanna I wanna be a little safe with this one. But we can be reckless with future forts too. Um, I've heard of people like basically situating a bunch of water right above where you're digging so that if you accidentally pierce in you just flood the whole thing with water and that doesn't that's not foolproof is my understanding uh, that won't kill everything that can come out but um you can like if anything flaming tries to come up you can like try to put it out i guess or if there's magma in there you can just immediately encase things into into obsidian Yeah, I want I want this support to survive, um, and then we'll keep going in the same world, and we can do like uh, adventure mode stuff when that comes back, um, and do f some more forts in this fort in this world, um, and start kind of accumulating stories in the world. Is my plan. Um, but like, that's and that down there, that's kind of the final frontier of this game. That's the that's the hard stuff. <laughs> I and it's like there's stuff down there that's difficult enough that you're not really meant to to be able to kill it to to survive it. Um yeah, like I I want to kill my fortress, so I'm just going to open this and that it happens. Um ah, screw all of this. And we're down to Freaking 15 FPS. Am I, do I have heat on? Dude, I'm gonna turn this off for now. It gets us gets us some more frames. Um But I've heard of I've heard of people conquering it. I've heard of people making forts down there. And that is so it is mind-boggling to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's the it's like asking for a tornado in SimCity. It's the same premise. Look at this thing that I spent all this time on, and I'll just watch it get destroyed. Uh, oh, construction of goods. Oh, did our Baron ask for things too? Yes. Two quivers, three anvils. Hooray. Our Baron really likes quivers, and our mayor likes anvils. Um, other things that are happening, we are, we're making statues to all of our forgotten beasts. This is my, um, this is our living history statue hall. Um, every forgotten beast and every, every beast. Um, so we've had a couple of were beasts as well come in here, but we have a statue for every single one and they're in order. Um, so you can see we're up to like 30 something. I have a, I have a list here, like 40. Um... I think we can place some more. We we made some furniture statue. This is for lamb. Lamb. And this one is Amzu. And then Agaz. And then, oh, the the Abyssal. I think that's the last one. That's the crocodile. Well, 40 beasts murdered. In addition to the hundreds of cavefish people that we've taken care of in this fortress. I wish that were an exaggeration. It is not. We've had 300 on the map at a time, multiple times, and we've dealt with them. Oh, and there's plenty of things that I would do differently now. Like this, our magma isn't pumping very quickly because I only have one tile coming in. This should... Oh, why is this not... Oh, why are we not pumping? 
No. Uh, here. Why are we not pumping? Inactive. Oh, we're still... Because we're still in winter. Our... That's right. Is this still... I guess the, the thing I ultimately need to check is our water wheels. Yeah, okay. Our water wheels are powered by the brook. So when the brook freezes, we lose power. Um... We have like, like, and we almost have enough power. Even um, we're we're pumping magma, but we're also milling. Of course, these aren't doing anything right now. I should hook this up to a lever and just switch it off when we don't need it. And by the time, by the time this is done, it'll uh. The problem will be solved by the time we get that linked up. It'll be good for next winter. Uh, but we're making clothes, in theory. We have a whole bunch of llamas. We're, we're, we're shearing the llamas. Um, look at all our crows. Or ravens, sorry. In theory, we are... We are experts at training ravens. So, okay, how are we? Okay, that got closed off, so we're good here. I'm kind of keeping an eye on this. I don't want this to get opened up without me knowing. We do have a safety door, a, a gate up here. Uh, up here. So yeah, I, I can close this if I absolutely need to, but I'd rather not need to. Mm, okay. And we our last couple seasons we didn't have any migrants. We were this so this fort was up to two hundred people at one point. It is not anymore, as you can tell, but um, a couple, a couple large casualty incidents. Um, so <laughs> slowly trying to get back up to 200, but it's been a, it's been a slog. The last two seasons didn't have any migrant waves. So hopefully they, hopefully they keep coming. And an unusual volcanic wall studded with gems and more adamantine. Okay, so we must have just pierced into the cave again. Do you want to tell me where that was? Now we'll just go here. Here. Okay. Nope. Stop. You've done your job. Okay, so now, Galena, Pyrite, it's not this, right? Oh, native gold, that's cool. Uh, Crundles? Do Crundles fly? I didn't think Crundles fly. I didn't think crundles. F oh, they climb. Interesting. Okay. Sure, I guess. I mean, in a cave like this, what are you going to do but climb? There's no way to get around except climb. Oh, well, like, look at all this. Okay. Star, ruby, obsidian, emerald, obsidian. Clear diamond. 
Rose Quartz. And we found a couple of vaults in the in the first cave, but they, they were all busts. So I didn't get anything out of them. Um ooh. Bad mood. So we, we've seen we've seen the little squares, the little three by three obsidian squares that sometimes have things in the middle, but none of them had anything in the middle. I'm almost wondering if these are like big versions of those. Sapphire. Every time that gets see something slightly blue. Sapphire, ruby, diamond, considerite. The game claims I have seen adamantine. No. We've seen a whole lot of gems. Like good gems too. There's full-on diamonds down here. Don't look your shot. Cool. Um, and then this didn't tell me about it. it just told me about like the zircons. So strange. We'll have to do some more digging over there. Figure out what's going on. Lapis? Granite. Yeah. Hmm. It's so weird. And could there be like natural magma above us? I'm just looking for warm stone here. I don't know if this is warm. Oh, no, there's some. And then that's wet. These must have been like little ponds that got, um... Lavaed. But it wasn't me, that's for sure. Interesting. Interesting and concerning. Which is the best kind of interesting. Okay, so we have some magma coming down. Of course, I want it to come over here. Well, it's going to take a second to actually do what I want it to do. Um, and it's all still flowing, right? We've been dealing with aquifers in all of our magma channel things, so that this has been a whole... Just getting magma to these places has been a whole saga. I would put that on a t-shirt. Uh, okay, and of course we're just sitting at 23 frames a second, so it's not going to go that fast, but... Turn into cloth. Um, oh, let's check. So I was training two newbie squads. Oh, look. Erish. <sighs> murder child. Everyone stop what you're doing. The murder child is on, a, on another tear. At least you're away from people this time. Erish is really good at finding a stairwell and having a tantrum. And just waiting for people to come by. And then murdering them. Mm hmm. The Gloved Church of Artifice. Oh, and you're already done tantruming. You're up to... It's bedtime. Make a statue of Arish for the Forgotten Beast hallway. That's actually not a bad idea. Where would it uh, place in the timeline? 
Um, I can, at the very least, I can. Uh, do, 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 commission a statue. Or. I'm gonna save the Serling. I'm gonna save the silver for the actual beasts. So, what if we do. What else do we have? I think we have. There's a couple things we have a small amount of. I think we have some platinum. Or it takes an age to open the stock screen in front of the royal throne. They can go in the throne room. There's plenty of room in the throne room. We can just, those are just random statues. A um, whole bunch of iron and silver. We have a platinum bar, which I don't think is enough for a statue. Bunch of bunch of soap. Bunch of soap. Um. Surely there's something that we can smelt. I just I want to close all the things. A thousand marble. The original reason we chose this location for our fortress, like we had a, there was an upstairs fortress and we relocated everything down lower. This whole area between the two caves is like 60% marble. So then I was like, I'm, I just found a whole layer of marble. Of course I'm going to dig my throne room down here. That's kind of why that happened. Platinum nuggets. Okay. Horn silver. I do bismuth. There are so many kinds of rocks. <laughs> um, orthoclase. Yeah, let's we'll we'll do some we'll do some platinum. Um, It's smelt native platinum ore. Yeah, do that. Uh, and actually, there's less than 10, so just do all of them. And then we'll do a platinum statue. And then I have to remember his name. It's Erish Logum Logum Stukon. Welcome to Khan. There you are. Very few citizens have intentional statues made after them. Maybe the, when you get 10 citizen kills, like they, they punch your card and you're like, okay, now you get a statue. Now stop. Come on, Lava. Do the thing. If these trees would just burn, that'd be great. That'd be ideal. Now take a minute. A new statue for every 10? No, I think it's one statue. I think you got... I think you won. You won tantrums. Here's your statue. You can enjoy it in prison. Maybe that's where we put it. We should put it in the jail. <laughs> there's space for statues down here. Yeah, there's even some people. Our other tantrumers. This will, the, the, the statue nooks outside of our, um, our dungeon will be the Tantamer Hall of Fame. <laughs> I like that. Um, how's our hospital? Oh, we're still like, I never finished our traction benches. Just do, do another 10 traction benches, that's fine. Oh, we don't need to smooth in here. Yeah, okay. Um, 
Okay, Magma, do your thing. It was quite dramatic to kill 300 fish people with uh, with magma in this tree. What kind of satisfying? There's this um. You can get a sense for for what happened here. <laughs> Ugh, this whole this whole thing. At least it's draining up here. At least, but. That's going to take a whole minute to fix now. And I had this spigot, but of course I closed it off. It'll figure itself out. Um, how are we doing over here? Um, this wall got made, so that's good. Um, and this all got dug, so that's good. I would love if these trees weren't here. But, you yeah, know, that's how that goes. Um, I was also working on just draining the rest of these little ponds for the sake of not having ponds. Um, so let's do let's do like three. That's fine. Do like that, right? Um, those are just that's just aquifer draining from above. Do that. Like we could, we could even just like link some of these. That'll that'll help them dry out. Like the, how does it? There's like there was a tree here. How does a tree grow on tetrahedrite? Well, I know how it does. We had trees growing in our bathhouse. For crying out loud. Okay, well this all basically got done. Um also we'll just we'll mine out this. Domas has begun a mysterious construction. Oh, would you grab some some wool, some pig iron? Cool, thanks. Wasn't using that for anything. Um, oh, that's what I was checking. We have our two newbie squads. We've been working on equipping. And it looks like we've been successful. No, that was the wrong button. I do that every time. Steel. 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 Wow. Okay. Cool. I think. Oh, you need. Have, you have one. One person has a male or like a, an iron. Fine. <laughs> You're fine. Um. Okay, but we're, I'm going to send these two squads off onto the world map. Um, cause they're both they're both full. They all got their they all got their stuff together. It looks like so. Let's see, where do we where do we poke at? So this is an untested squad mostly, so I don't want to give them too much. Too much junk. Um, 
we've raided a couple of these places. The Noiseless Tubes. The main goblin civilization that's been harassing us is the Crested Flies up here. Um, but not all of these are belonging to that group. The Guilt of Dooms. Um, like, that only has 10 people in it. This is a cold cave. I, sh I raided one of these. Camp of Metal Horror. Hmm. There's a vault. The Dark Goblin Fortress. Horror hailed. Oh, new. Uh, the Nightmare of Immorality. Oh, the Slitted Evil. That's not even the same... Civilization. Interesting. Where did they come from? The Disloyalty of Shielding. Hmm. This is more... This is Dwarven stuff, but not us. The Crypt of Combining. Cool. I'm tempted to just send them up and start raiding these... The Doom Paddles. We've even raided Hatred Pleats before. I mean, and this only has like ten. Let's let's call this a good. Let's call this a a first go. We're gonna try to destroy this site. It's a small one, and it's close. Um, we're gonna free captives. We don't care about livestock or other items, but I do care about prisoners and treasures. Um, yeah. So I think we're just gonna try that. Raid, raise gang wraiths. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's so freaking close. I want to. I want to try to clear out some of this area a bit. So, uh, there we go. So they've been given that order. They will hopefully get their stuff together and leave, and then come back. And hopefully they don't dawdle. Uh, last time we sent some people off, there was like one or two people who really. Had a hard time getting their stuff together. Um, but yeah, uh, look at all this garbage. Look at all these corpses. Hooray. This is still... it's getting close. It's just... it's so slow. Is the... This is even filling up pretty decent. It's just it takes so long for it to scoot down a down a passageway. There's even a bunch of just a bunch of obsidian up in the tree now. This is fine. is fighting. <laughs> Did it fall? <laughs> Crundle fell off a wall. <laughs> I almost feel bad? Oh, uh, why is there an ant here? This is... this is inside. Did we not close our door? We closed the door. Has this ant been hiding down here? For a long time? I guess it could have been. Okay, well, um... Someone should take care of that. Is 
This is these are mining tunnels directly under our uh, magma forge area. Which, you know, it's it's attached to the second cave, which is brimming with ant people, so I can only be so surprised by it. I didn't think there was anything hiding down here. There's, oh, you have an axe. Are you going to take care of it? Nope. I have all of my civilians in squads, just so that they, like everyone's doing one month of, of training a year for for happy thought purposes. Uh, so a lot of people just have weapons. Oh, see? Why were we even worried? Oh, Stonecutter has created Rigoth Cod, a Gabbro crown. Sweet. Well, let's put it in the museum. Um, I think all of these are occupied. Uh oh. One moment, please. Uh, what was it? It was a crown. Jeez, that's a lot of... Oop. Oh, a wombat nail crown. Uh, let's see. Surely one of these is named something. Cowbone. A bunch of wax crowns. Rigoth Cod. There you are. Okay. Oh, hi. Um, so this is the second cave, but that's a whole lot of things. Um, did we did we spot that from our? See, I, I think we can actually see things in the cave because of our throne room. That's kind of cool. Like, look, this is a whole convoy of ants and giant olms and frogs. I think, I think we need another forgotten beast to show up in this cave and start clearing things out. Because we had, we had a thing in here for a long time that was uh, keeping the population down. But then it died mysteriously and by mysteriously I mean it made it into our bathhouse what are they fighting are they fighting the rat the carpenter oh that was the that was the ant yes yes that's fine that's fine They're all just hanging out, aren't they? And see, see, these ants are riding crocodiles. Nasty, nasty things. I fortunately didn't have to fight them directly, but I have also seen a squad of ant people riding bats. Giant bats. So glad we didn't have to deal with that. You can forbid all you want winter. We're not getting traders anyway. Oh my gosh. <laughs> On the, so the rats don't appear to be hostile to the ants. Are they writing the ants? They're, the, the ants are writing the rats. <laughs> oh, 
I don't like that. Olms, crocodiles, and rats being ridden by ants with blowguns. That's a recipe for a bad time. Okay. Nope. Someone's corpse is, is burning. Civil war between rat riders, croc riders, and frog riders? I don't know. They didn't seem to be fighting each other. Mm. That's going to take a minute. It's going to have to like, go all the way around. Oh, there it goes. Come on, you can do it. Not even melting all the garbage there. Okay, well... We're... we're pumping, right? Oh, we're saving. It'd be cool to see a civil war between the ant people. I could potentially see, like, um... Like, different civilizations, or like... Like, groups... Having... Different mounts. Because, like, sometimes the goblins will have mounts. I, we, we haven't seen goblins with mounts in this fortress yet. Uh, but sometimes they'll show up on, on crocodiles and stuff. Um, but I think it's determined by, like, what that civilization has access to. So you could potentially have, like, a group of ants that have access to crocodiles and a group of ants that have access to rats or something. I don't, I don't think that the animal people are kept track of in the same way. Like, the goblins are a, a civilized race... Um, and they have, like, they make civilizations, but these are just ant people. They don't, they don't belong to a civilization. Like, there's no site that we could go to where they're coming from or where their home is. It's just, they're just, they are just ant people. So they're like, in that sense, they're not even advanced enough to have, to have a war. We can't, we can't parlay with them. We can't negotiate with them. We can't convince them to stop attacking us. They're just wild creatures that are in the shape of people and can hold weapons and don't like us. So that's cool. Uh, what? Oh, that's, that's fair, I guess. Mm. See this? This is all just drying out. Perfect. Cool, yeah. Well, that'll just evaporate, and then we'll have less ponds. Aside from the, the stuff we're currently screwing up. more. How many are down there now? One hundred and thirty-seven ant men, and then forty alms, and twenty-five giant cave toads, and twenty-five crocodiles, twenty-two giant rats. It's like all of this stuff. I bet is in the second cave. This is two, three hundred sword things things just to sit here and eat our frames that's the whole purpose interrupted by a giant ohm why Are you interrupted here? Was there... Was there an incident that I missed? There's no... There's no combat log. Curious. Like 
why interrupted by Queen Ant Spearwoman? Hmm. Uh, let's check down here again. Make sure we haven't left dangerous things open. That all seems fine. This all got dug. Okay, so this whole side is nothing. Uh, but there's more up here. And more over here. I mean, we could just do... I thought I'll find something. And we'll go all the way up. Do something like that. I want to find the extents of the cave, and then we can kind of navigate around it and find our goodies inside. These platinum nuggets. Okay, so that's... We probably finished smelting our platinum. So we'll just stop that. Yes, that's fine. But like, oh hey! The king is visiting... Now you, like... Oh, is... No? I'm confused. We're getting job cancellations for creatures that I can't find. <laughs> Okay, whatever. Um, someone's coming down here. Okay, keeping an eye on this. This is still... Being stupid, but that's fine. I should have, like... I should have just made a wall. That's what I should have done. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. Um, let's do this. Build a wall before you die. Uh, let me just do this. Uh, we can do like this. I want to, like, well, uh, we'll see if we can get them to, to do that before things become bad. Um, and just like that. Whether or not that's actually helpful or possible, unclear. Yeah, that's going to spread faster than I want it to. In the wrong direction. Fine. Let's go a little... Try not to fry my poor dwarves, I guess. Like, yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Look at this. It's all just... <laughs> Hmm. 
our tantrum child has slipped into depression as if he hasn't been there this whole time. Was that a... Yeah, okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, ignore all of that. And then a wall. Okay. So look at this. This is all just air. <laughs> wow. It's really pretty. It'd be a nightmare to navigate, though. Um, is there even a way through here? I wonder... Is this... We haven't even found the end there. Let's go, like... Do one of those. Um, I don't think we can sneak through here without needing to wall all this off afterwards. Yeah. We could... Could do a little bridge here, maybe, and wall it off. Mm. I don't want to leave this cave open for long enough for a Forgotten Beast to get any ideas. Uh, oh, another tantrum. Hooray. I don't care. There's more obsidian floor. Um, okay, so then, what if we look up? Here we go. Let's do, or even here, for that matter. Yeah. Something like that. Okay. That'll do something. <laughs> oh, you're in a thing. Okay. Huh, hilarious. Tantrumer cancel start fist fight. Target inaccessible because you can't get out of the jail cell. Huh. Fancy that. Okay. <laughs> All these corpses. Okay. It'll get over there eventually, right? itself. Everything's fine with enough magma. Just keep dumping magma and it'll, it'll be fine. I'm gonna make some more little pools too. So we, what are we working on? I don't have any big mega projects going on right now. I feel like I should. Here's our, here's our statues. August splashed speckle the fin of mines. Forgotten beast and a billy goat. August is devouring the billy goat. <laughs> Artwork relates to the devouring of a billy goat by the. The most guild. Oh. So some some civilization named the most guild. By the Forgotten Beast in 88. 
during the rampage of the Forgotten Beasts in the Mines of Finder Sword. Interesting. Um, and then this one is theoretically our crocodile. The Abyssal. The Abyssal, the Forgotten Beast. Weird. Uh, relates to the wandering of the Forgotten Beasts in the depths in one. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, so, Amzu, the Forgotten Beast, and Vasifa, the Gorlak. Amzu is devouring the Gorlak. Cool. Uh, oh, we might have our statue to... Um, to Ereshtun. Let's see. Can I? Nice. Yeah. Um, and we were building statues just in general to place in places. Um, so there's still some designations here. Um, oh, look. Are you in Cave 2? I'd be happy if you're in Cave 2. Uh, okay. Esnest Aspazdos Poo. Has come. Gigantic one eyed salamander. It has a knobby trunk and it has a bloated body. Chestnut skin is waxy, but where it's poisonous sting. This is. In cave one. In the exact same spot. I even told someone to chop down this tree and they haven't done it. It's all this stupid. Ugh. Our previous Forgotten Beast showed up in this exact same tile. And I told someone to chop down this tree. I also told someone to build stairs here. Yeah, so we're gonna have to... I want this tree chopped before... Yep. What's it doing? What you doing? Hanging out. Let me write down your name real quick. Oh look, the elves are here. Don't care. I wonder if it can get out of the tree. Well, this is progressing. My god, the water comes in fast. I didn't I didn't think that the water would come in that fast off the map. That's really what the problem was. I thought I would be able to like drain the pool and go in and chop down the trees while things were still like hanging around around ankle depth but like the water's coming in as fast as it's coming out elven caravan hooray you're just gonna sit there that's cool so far. There's so much junk in here now. Man, I, we are so lucky that corpses aren't reanimating. We'd be screwed. We would not have made it this far.
Oh, yeah. Oh, you missed the bird. We had a bird. So, we embarked onto an evil biome here. And I did that on purpose because I think they're fun. Um, fun with a capital F. Um, typically, in, in previous versions, one of the things that I, I liked doing was finding a split embark, or um, finding a, a spot to go to where half of it was an evil biome and half of it wasn't. So you're kind of like on the edge of an evil forest or that kind of a situation. Um, and evil biomes tend to reanimate dead things. Um, like you'll you'll kill you'll kill a bird, and if the corpse is just lying there on evil ground, sometimes the bird will just become a zombie. Um, so I was expecting that to happen. The fact that this hasn't been happening here is is interesting to me. Um, because it's... Well, I, I tried to find a spot that was half evil and half not, and then what we got was, like, all evil. Like, our entire map is evil, as far as I can tell. Because all of the... all of our plant stuff is dead. Like the dead common reed. Dead ginkgo tree. Dead oak. Like, everything up here is dead. Um... Fine. Whatever. I don't need to chop down 60 trees. Um, but yeah, um, so, so creatures can be reanimated by the ground, basically. Being in an evil biome uh, can create zombies. But there are also people who can do it on purpose. Um, and I kind of mysteriously we had uh, a giant Kia Kia key, key or Kia I never know how to pronounce it but the the bird we had a big bird that was a corpse and then something reanimated it I, like you look in the combat log and you get a there's a line in there about it being reanimated but I never found the person who did it it's like a some necromancer just poked onto the map real quick and was like, oh, hi, and then reanimated one bird and then left. Somehow, for some reason. So we had a, we had a giant skeletal bird that we had to deal with. Uh, but then nothing hap has happened since then. It's just been... <laughs> nothing else. Um, so, like, if, if all of this... Like, if... If we were in the reanimating dead kind of biome, and every single fish person that we killed that wasn't the corpse wasn't burned, was reanimating on into a zombie, we'd be absolutely screwed. There'd be no way that this fortress would still be a surviving. Cause zombies are zombies suck. Zombies can be harder to kill than the original thing. I guess that's kind of the idea of a zombie, but. Um, how's this gonna work? Ugh. Here, can we just dig those? Um, necromancers can also be hostile to like your to your fortress. Um, it's like we have goblins who show up, and they they want things from us, and they they come in a siege. And they try to take it from us by force, right? Um, but there are also necromancers who can do that. They can r raise an army. You'll see them on the world map. I haven't actually seen any on our world map. Thank goodness. Um, but you'll see necromancer towers. I don't actually know what the symbol looks like in this version. Um, but they can, they, they'll have a site on the world map. And they will send sieges of undead to nearby things. So if you if you embark close to a to a to a necromancer tower, you will get a siege that is just zombies and skeletons. And they'll be like there might be a necromancer hidden in there somewhere, but there's 50 skeletons wearing armor, holding silver whips and junk like that. And as you're, like, trying to kill them, as you're struggling to kill a zombie-wearing plate mail, like, on its own is ridiculous. 
as you're fighting it, there's a necromancer hidden in the back somewhere. Every time you chop off an arm or a leg or a finger, every single piece that gets chopped off a zombie, the necromancer can reanimate as a piece. Like you'll just have hands crawling across the ground. Like hair and entrails and skin being reanimated right after you killed the thing that you chopped it off of. And the, the necromancer is just back there laughing like, <laughs> raising all these dead things. And you're screwed. Like you, you get halfway through it and then all your dwarves are dead and now your dwarves are zombies and attacking you. It's bad. It's a real bad time. That's a, that's a close the door and hope they go away kind of a situation. At least it was in previous versions. Oh, did you make it down? You got down. You've decided to join us. And you went into the water. Okay, I guess. Do we still have a kill order? We do. It's just going to hang out in the water now, isn't it? That's awful. Yep, here comes our miner. Hopefully they can hopefully they can do this real quick. See they're maybe a little too brave. That's real cool. How is our... There's not one person here from that squad. Where are you? Uh, no, I want to... Back to squads. You. Oh, you're, you're headed out. Okay. You're filling a water skin. good and you're hungry what are you really fine there's always one uh where'd he go Oh, Mr. Beast. No, not that Mr. Beast. <laughs> Forgot that that could refer to an actual person. Look at all these invaders. Oh my god. My god! There you are. Oh, it's, it's coming for us. Are you... Okay. So in theory, our squads are coming. You got lucky. No, maybe not. <laughs> run! Run! Okay. Wow. Good job. <laughs> and... Where's our squads? Oh, look. Someone's throwing a tantrum. What are you doing? I've been... You've been ordered to kill. Here comes a person. A single person? Okay. There's another at least. Oh boy. Uh, let's clear these real quick. Oh, we've probably opened up more. I'm not going to bother trading with the elves. We opened up something. Right here. Okay. Oh, perfect. Okay. 
Let's just do this. Oop. And then that ended up fine. Hmm. Okay. Um, but... Of course, there's a little thing there. I don't want to accidentally lock someone outside. I'll just do that. Okay. So that means... I was looking for a way over, so that means that we can do like... This, in theory, we just go do something like that. And then let's go back up here. Oh, did we already deal with it? Oh my goodness. I missed the whole dang thing, didn't I? Uh, let's see. Forgotten Beast Misses. Forgotten Beast Misses. I like this. Spirit Orf bites the Forgotten Beast in the leg. Latches on firmly. Hammer Dwarf kicks. Spirit Orf punches. Hammer Dwarf bashes. Kicks. Use your freaking weapons. They've all gotten way too good at wrestling. <laughs> now they just want to wrestle with the Forgotten Beasts. Here we go. Spirit Orf stabs with the spear. And then it dies shortly after, I'm sure. Bashes, bashes. Okay. Well, as is tradition, who got this kill? Tattooed Drake's inspired by Godfrey, yes. Uh... Who was this? This was Esnet. Esnest. No. I don't think it was. I mean, it could be that. Because it was a it was a cave crocodile, twisted into humanoid form. No, it wasn't you. No? Uh, oh, now you're throwing a tantrum. That's hilarious. Um, and you have killed a dwarf in there somewhere. Um, and you're you're actively destroying our farm right now. That's excellent. Are you a spear dwarf? It's it was probably you. Okay, now just leave my farms alone. Wait, hey, hey, hey! Are you destroying crops by doing that? You need to stop. That's. Okay, that's cool. If you're lucky I'm just using DF hack to to keep my plot going, otherwise I'd have to like reconfigure all that stuff. And then I'd be mad. I also like how there's two forgotten beast corpses in our farm now. From this stream. Ugh. Do what I want you to do, not what physics dictates. Ugh. I should have mined out all these walls before I started flooding. I sh Was that a ghost?
<laughs> I think I saw a ghost. Okay. I'm going to try to stop just compounding my mistakes. Let's pull this lever. I am seriously considering just walling this in and making it a permanent pool of magma so that nothing can come in this way. Don't know what else to do with it. it even goes up real high, doesn't it? It goes up pretty big. designate in lava. Nope. Okay. <laughs> so I want... I want a wall like this. this. Um, and then this won't matter because it's all just gonna, I'm just gonna turn this all into magma. I'm just gonna make it a little square. Of course I'll have to build it up a bit. Did anyone? Oh, I saw it again. Um, I would love for these trees to be chopped. Like, why is this not... Priority one! Do the thing. Creature is lurking. Um, but then... We'll do floors like that. They can build the wall. Hi. Hello, creature. Also going to turn on temperature again because I think the people not coming over here to chop my trees. I want to say my only hunch is that it's a temperature issue because we had lava over here not that long ago, and I don't think it's cooled. And I th think that's been causing some issues. But it's also not been very clear. Hi. Um, you destroyed farm plots. I was aware of that. Um, that's right. So then, how are we doing here? Let's. Mal. This is not... Okay, just do the thing. Destruction nearly done. And someone's coming for that. The king is visiting again. 
course he is. It's a miracle the king has not died here. The times that he's been here when things have gone down. He's, yeah, he's, he's just always here. Almost like this is the capital or something. He refuses to move here. He just wants to be here all the time. Rotting beast corpses. Hooray. Um, I'm also going to wall off this just for the sake of posterity, I guess. Walling off as much as I can. And that's going to keep draining. It's so, so painful. Uh, dealing with the problems that I have made myself. I just saw it again. You. Tobol. Tobol Neko. Right? Doesn't claim to be a ghost, but it, I I see him. I know there's a ghost there. Um, the other thing. So I made I made a couple of dump zones in some of these magma pools, just for the sake of disposing of all this garbage. We're just so backlogged on, on labor, though. Does that work? Um. Like, even our, our stockpile for things to melt is like bursting at the seams. This is just all fish people stuff. Look at this. It's spears and shields and nothing else. The amount of stuff we've gotten out of goblins is like a tenth what we've gotten off of the fish people. And the fish people wear nothing. Shields and spears and nothing else. Who got caught? Well, Raven got caught. I saw a Raven revert. Well, someone better let it out. Um, how's our squads going? You're still here. Like, you have your stuff. Where the... You're still trying to fill a water skin? Buddy. Oh, but see our 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 forgot our 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 good stockpiles. Like it's finally being collapsed into those bins. All our bags. These are all just these bags have things in them. This is supposed to be an empty bag pile. Come on. Nope. Bags. Oh, is, is empty bag a different thing? No, sandbag's a different thing. But like, I don't have seeds enabled. But a bag with seeds in it can go there. Mm. There, you even have stuff in your water skin. Oh, you just you just did it. Okay, now he has to walk 
all the way back up and then they can go raid the place very cool uh one other thing's got taken Um, we have a couple of incinerators. I want to check here. Yeah, look at all this. Okay, so the the teeth are happening. Um, you can see I try. I'm telling them to dump stuff every once in a while. Look at all these all these fish people. Um, and then this is just a, a little. <laughs> there's just some bones in there. A little, a little magma incinerator, and then there's another one here. This one's got a tooth, so that means this isn't the f closest to anyone now, which is kind of good, I think. Um, because I was doing it from here. Now there's a bunch of stuff here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, look at all this. All is garbage. Trash collection is going to be something that I do more intentionally in the next fortress, I think. Oops, some of this is getting done. Um, we're also going to want to make stairs because I'm, I'm going to want to I want to fill the whole thing. At least a couple levels. Let's do this. Let's dig a stairwell up. Like that. Just do something like that. So we can use some of these natural walls to our advantage. Because they at least go up all the way, right? Yeah. Oh, this whole thing is now a lake again. And this is still... I'm going to tell them to start. Like, I can't build here because of the leaves. Well, I can do that once, uh, once they chop that down. I'm going to tell them to build a wall. See, it only paused. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think it's quite... Hmm. <laughs> not quite, not quite smart as I want it to be. Does that mean I'm gonna do? What does that mean I'm gonna do? Okay. Someone could chop the tree, that would be great. And of course, it just all says it's just warm. Like, you don't get to know how warm. It's just warm. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. I'll figure it out. And you're, you're probably still here, right? He'll figure it out. Better ghost. It's a blissful ghost. That's a good thing, right?
Okay, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna come across this way. And that needs to that's all gonna have to move. And I'll place this here. It's gonna be a bit before they can get there. That's fine. And I'm owing all this too. This is all dried out. Fewer ponds. That's working at least. What do I want to do? Let's... Nope, 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 nope. I want to do this. Yeah, I want to do that. And then I'll just do that, right? No, I don't. Not also here, but. We can also, like, mine out all of this obsidian. We could do something fun with obsidian. Someone come up with, like, a, a, a pixel art thing that I can make with, with obsidian blocks, and I'll, I'll put that out. <laughs> I'll put that up so that up on the surface. I did, a uh, like, a giant sphere once. That was fun. It was difficult, but it was fun. This is still very slowly draining, but that's how that goes. Oh, and they're all gonna freak out about the walls, but that's fine. Someone gonna chop the tree? Do they? Is it like? Well, they're having a hard time with these too. I'm gonna say, is it the forbidden spear? But that it's not stopping them from these. Mm. You here to build? Yes. What was that? There's no room for mercy in this world, after seeing a million dead cave fish bodies. <laughs> Are you stuck now? <laughs> or like a castle. I could make... So my... my uh, this is my little entrance thing? It's a nice little, you know, fort kind of a deal, but it's not that impressive. I could make like a big impressive obsidian castle to surround this. That'd be kind of cool. Because all the all the obsidian that we're getting out of killing our fish people, just we can just turn it into blocks and build stuff.
Okay. We're... These got sealed. That's still going. That got done. So now please finish. I don't need some random forgotten beast just flying up and squeezing through that corner there. I'm just going to do, I'm going to do just scaffolding around so we can build, build more walls because we want at least, I at least want to go as high as the trees. Well, because this will be open space. Maybe we just need, so it's literally just the one layer. So I want this layer to be encapsulated. Maybe we'll just do one layer up and see if that if that fixes it. And then we can build a wall higher if we need to, because I'll put the catwalk on the outside. Like a smart person. Do we'll mine out these. Um, we'll do construct floor. Let's do, yeah, well, well whatever. Um, but these I want to make out of wood so that people can just bring it down real quick, in theory. I'm gonna search for wood. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's do that. And then, since we're in the air here, I guess I only need to go... I need to go to here, but then I need to get around. So we'll do... we'll just do this. And then, we will just take out that. And then, we want to... Oh look! Erish is throwing another tantrum. Who will you kill this time, child? I'm just... Just gonna chill. I do really like the mental image of tantruming and playing at the same time. It's like, it's kind of contradictory, but I also get it. There you go. Now it's food time. I also get that. And he's 15. I forget when children become adults. Like in game to in game play sense. Confident that Erish is actually a demigod. I mean, that would be that'd be fitting. Is this um I mean, what child would would just be throwing constant tantrums? Is this for Dawn? Is this um? I don't know who would be who would be the most tantrumy. Maybe Rikard. Maybe this is Rikard. <laughs> There's plenty of tantrums and also killed a whole bunch of people. Yep. It's very thematically appropriate. I can't deny that. God, this is going to be... I'm so mad. I'm just going to reflood this whole thing with magma anyway. That's that's where we're at with that. It's not gonna even going to flow out quick enough for me to... Yeah. <laughs> just to tarnish. Yeah. Oh, man. That's the almost worse. None of the... One of the responsibilities of being like an actual deity of power, just some jerk who wants to kill everyone.
Uh, okay. And they're still not chopping my trees. Like seriously, just even just this tree in particular. No, too much for you. And you're just literally waiting for that one tile to dry up before you can get out of that corner. Oh, I can probably place the thing for the ghost. Um, I've been putting them all over here. No, not burial. Slab. Oh well. Come on, game. And I think those are all just low priority. Okay. I won't even still. Okay. That's a good sign. Someone working on this? Slowly. Just partial. Mm. Okay. Let me out! You just cask of Amontillado'd yourself, didn't you? In there, didn't you? We can just we can mine that out. That's fine. Um, but we do want wall here, and here. Also do that right? That's because that's just stuff below. Confirm. And then we'll want at some point it'll stop letting me place these. I want to be done with the saga of this this stuff. Uh oh. Oh, you just got possessed this instant as we're placing the freaking slab. Someone on their way with it right now. The one time I'm uh What's the word I'm looking for? Proactive. The one time I'm proactive and make a slab first. I'm just opsing someone right at the last moment anyway. Hmm. 
so much marble. We have so much everything. We need to... <laughs> we need to get rid of all these stones, too. Oh, we should also smooth this, since now we need... More space for our beast statues. Um, and we never placed... Or did we place Erish? There's Erish. What's the statue of Erish look like? Well-crafted platinum statue of Erish. The item is a well-designed image of Erish and a dwarf. Just a dwarf. Uh, Erish is cringing. The dwarf is striking a menacing pose. The artwork relates to the conviction of the dwarf for disorderly conduct. <laughs> Perfect. Disorderly conduct. It's called murder. But we'll 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 go with it. <laughs> okay. Um I should wrap up, but I don't I don't want to. I want to finish this. <laughs> Oops. I'm, I meant for that to get mined before... Uh... Before trapping that person in there. Let's do... I just do, um, dig. Oh. oh, did you decide to climb the tree? I guess that's... Don't fall in. Why'd you go that way? Awfully brave of you. If you gave me a couple more months, I would have gotten you out. You're still not out of there. Now you're over magma again. Don't look down. Okay, cool. You made it out. I'm honestly surprised. Um, okay, so then we can we can start building some of these walls too. Right, we're just going straight over to the wall with this. So we're in theory building a. Oh, we're not building a floor there. For whatever reason. Still no migrants. Hmm, I don't like that. I want migrants. How are you still here? Aren't you possessing someone? I'd ask how a ghost exists in two places at once, but I guess that's not that outrageous. <laughs> What was that for? Could not find a path. Okay. Oh, come on. Look at this. And I still cannot chop down this tree for reasons that are not understood. The tree itself is warm. Well, and there's water here now. Go station over here. Or 
<laughs> on the ground, I guess. Ugh, and now it's deep enough that it's a problem again. Has our, has our intrepid heroes made it off the map? No special orders. Are they back already? They're back. Uh, reports. Raise metal horror? No, this one. Raise gang wraiths. In the mid-spring of 120, forces of contingent seals searched gang wraiths and found nothing. Uh, rampage through gang wraiths. In mid-spring, the ignition of plague fled gang wraiths. We have destroyed gang wraiths. Because there was no one there. So we just... Cool. It's gone now. Right? In theory? The dark pits of gang wraiths. So it's like it's... It's, it's there on the map, but there's no box around it. Cool. Um, so now in the the immediate vicinity, we still we have this, which is um, with our, it's another dwarven site with our civilization, so it's fine. This camp has nobody. This shrine has nobody. This has nobody. Um, but these two, there's a dark human pits of twinkle torments. Or no, that that's. That means the humans are there, right? Dark human pits. Yeah, okay. So then... Hatred pleats. But it has like 50 people. Okay. The Lies of Prestige. So this will be our next target. And I'm not gonna fart around with letting the our squads... get distracted. I'm just gonna send them back out. Um, so we still don't care about these. We still want to loot stuff, but I want to, like, just attack a bit. Yeah, I think I think we're going to raid it. And then once we've dealt with it some, uh, we're going to... We go back and, and destroy it. I think that's how that works. No... How do I... Oh, yeah, okay. So... So, there we go. Two commanders. Okay. Done. Do the thing. Also, do the thing! Miner put to rest. Perfect. I hope this don't become more than one fish. If it just turns into a million more fish, I'm going to be upset. Going to be quite upset. And like, look at this. Like, they could probably come in here, too. The trick, the thing that I should have done in retrospect, because retrospect is, it can, hindsight is great. Um... If you build a road, um, thing, things can't grow on roads. Uh, so if you if you do a road, like a just even like three tiles, like you have a wall and then a three tile wide road running along the the wall, trees won't be able to grow within those tiles. Um, so like outside, that's something that I've done. I I even knew to do that. Completely forgot about it. It's been a while since I've been in that kind of a situation. But that will that will prevent that situation. Um, not that I can fix it now. Hey look, we're up to 5k fish people again. Soldiers, come help. Like, and this tree isn't even underwater. Someone just needs to come and cut it. And now there's fish in it, and now they're gonna not going to be able to get to it. 
because of the fish people. Okay. I also want to... I'm going to want to dump magma up here. Um, and this will be this will be for next time, but let's do like this. Like there's I mean there's aquifer and junk in here, so we're gonna have to There's gonna be stuff to deal with here, but we can get this started at least. And this is all access tunnels. We'll just do Something like this. And then get down there that way. And that will be fine. Okay. I'm curious to see how we're doing down here. I yeah, made a little bit further. We're still going. Nope, we gave up. Okay. And I got closed. Okay, good. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, next time we will be exploring more down here. We will be we will be harvesting some of our adamantine. I think that's the next project. Jezebel just staring at the wall like that. Nothing happened. Okay. Um, I'm curious if our soldiers are going to get down here at all, ever. Uh. Stop it. Stop it with the K-Fish. Please. Uh, okay, that's fine. Um, let's do uh, that. Gonna take them a whole bit to finish all this, but that's fine. I'll just designate it. And I'll keep chipping away at it. Um, and then floor. And then... Effect. And then we also want to chop, cut through here. And then that should be fine. Once all that gets made, back from the spots we can't do on the bottom yet, but that's... Slowly becoming less of an issue. Yeah, okay. I'm so mad that this is even what we have to do here. <laughs> this feels... Whatever, it's fine. No, we should do this. Shoot. I don't know how to. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to tell him to be better at that. You know, he should do some research about what's going on there. Because now temperature's on, but it's still not like. Yeah, I don't know. I'll leave it on. Maybe closing and restarting the game will, will clear some cobwebs or something. Who knows? Okay, um... This is all fine. Oh, he wanted something to me. 
three quivers, and three low boots. Turn. Okay. We're just gonna call it there. Good night. Um, yeah. Uh, today's Monday, right? So we're more of this on on Thursday. Um, come check out the continued saga of dealing with that one tree in particular. End me. Um but yeah, uh, and then, and then, yeah, let's we'll, we'll find something cool to do with our obsidian. Let's mine some adamantine. Let's do some, let's do some stuff. Let's, let's, let's stop dealing with the fish people. That's my plan. Um, and then on Saturday, we'll be doing more, more Sekiro. Uh, so come by if that's a thing that you care about at all. Because that's been fun too. Very different games. Still enjoying it. Um, yeah, so... Have a good, have a good rest of your day. Stay kind. Quit subscribe or like or whatever. Do the thing. <laughs> See you later. Bye.